Hi everybody, this is Dr. Dan, and this is the second in a series of videos where we're going to talk about using Project Libre to do project planning for your BME 261L projects. And so we left off last time with my BME 245L planning uh, with some milestones, some phases, a deadline, um, but I didn't really worry too much about the dates yet, and we didn't really add details um, other than just these little major tasks, right? We want some minor tasks under those. So in this video, we're going to start working on those things. And so let's start with just setting some known dates for the major phases, right? So one of the known dates here is that cell culture is going to start on 9-2. So I'm going to type in 9-2-2024. I'll hit enter. And you see it didn't, it didn't let me set that, right? So it reverted back to 12-17. So I'm going to double click it so we can see what's going on. So if I go to advanced, Okay, it actually put that 9-2 as a constraint. But it says start no earlier than 9-2. But that's not what we want. We want it to start on 9-2. So I'm going to say must start on 9-2. Okay, and then I'll, I can then set the end date. So I'm going to go to general. And I can set the finish date to be what it's supposed to be, which is 10-18. Uh, Okay, and uh, so you can see it showed up in the Gantt chart there. One thing it does, it still has this question mark between for the 35 days. So I'm going to double click that. And in, in, instead of just letting it have a question mark, I'll click unclick estimated and it will get away the question mark and tell us, okay, now we know that's 35 days of work between 9.2 and 10.18. Okay, the second major phase then is mechanical testing. I know mechanical testing is going from 10.21 to 11.22. So let me double click that to set that. So again, I'm going to advanced. I'm going to say must start on, and I'll put the must start on date is 10.21.2024. I can go to the general tab to set the final, which is 11.22.2024. And again, I'll uncheck the estimated so it doesn't have our question mark. Okay, now we can look at this and we can see those uh, major phases are scheduled. Okay, for something like these phases, I know the dates that they're going to be, and so they're kind of fixed. Um, and so that's typically not what you do for planning necessarily, um, because you're trying to figure out how long things will take. So I'll show you something slightly different for the exam phase, right, and what happens with the exam phase. So for the exam phase, uh, I can set dates just like I did before. It'll go from 11.20 to 12.4, uh, but I'm not going to change the dates. Instead, I'm going to add some milestones uh, for this exam phase. I'm going to add four things under here. So number one under this is I have to make the exam. Okay, uh, we have our exam review in class. We have the individual exam. And then we have the team exam. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll select all four of those items and I'll click the indent. Right? And so it puts all those things as part of the exam period. Okay, so the last three of these are actually milestones because they are happening in class on certain days. So I'm going to set those milestones. Uh, the exam review is 11-20-2024. Again, it didn't let me do that. So I'm going to go to advanced. Must start on 11-20-2024. Individual exam must start on 12-2-2024. And the team exam must start on 12-4-2024. These are all uh, milestones, so I'm setting them to zero day duration to make them milestones. Okay, and then we can go over to our Gantt chart and you will see it now has these milestones figure out. And this black bar is the exam uh, phase, right? The exam period. And so you'll see it still has make exam at the end because it's like, well, there's no reason to make the exam uh, before any of the other things, except we know there is, right? And so we need to use uh, our predecessors to make sure we set this up correctly. Okay, so the individual exam can't happen until I make the exam. So one of the predecessors is gonna be row six. And I'm not going to give you the individual exam before the exam review, so I'm going to set that predecessor as well. And then, of course, we're not going to have the team exam until uh, after the individual exam, so I'm going to set that uh, there as well. 
Okay, I, I can have the exam review before I make the exam, uh, but now you can see how it has scheduled it, right? Where it has now uh, moved the make exam to before the individual exam. And again, we have this black bar indicating the exam phase, which encompasses all these other phases. So that's why I didn't need to set the exact dates on the exam phase because Project Libre did it for itself. Okay, so I'm gonna do something similar for uh, the finished grading. Uh, I'm gonna add a bunch of tasks that go under this phase, right? So I'm gonna say we need to grade the MEC testing papers. I'm gonna say we need to grade exams. I need to grade the reflection essays. I need to grade the bioethics reflection. And then I need to uh, submit grades. I'll call it finalize and submit. Okay, and all of these things are going to be indented under the finished grading task, right? And so again, we haven't really set any dates or any predecessors, so it's like, great, all of them are gonna take a day. We can fit them all in on that last day. That's obviously not true, so we need to set some predecessors up, right? So number one, uh, before I finalize and submit grades, all these things have to be done, right? So I can actually just put in 12, 13, 14, and 15, all have to be done before I finalize and submit grades, right? So that moves everything ahead. Uh, I do have to have the exams done before I grade them. So I did have finished grading. One of the predecessor was the exams finished five, but really it's this one where a five, it now needs to be uh, the team exam nine. And so I can remove this predecessor from there. Okay, because really grading the exams is the predecessor, not all the grading, right? I can start some of these other gradings possibly ahead of time. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, actual numbers of days and stuff. You can still see this is still off, but I'm just kind of showing you how to add subtasks. So I'm gonna get one more example for you that's a little bit more complicated, and that's under our planning. And so I'm gonna to try to add a lot of the planning under here. So under planning, I'm gonna insert a bunch of lines. I'm not sure how many I'll need yet. So one of the lines is gonna be take inventory. Okay, the next, after I do that, I'll have to order supplies. I'll have to clean and start the incubators and uh, biological safety cabinets. Okay, after I do that, I'm gonna have to uh, grow out some cells. I also need to set up Canvas. I need to make my syllabus. Right, I think that's about it, so I can delete this row. But all of these are going to be subtasks under planning. Right, so all those will need to happen before classes start. Okay, I'm going to add a little more detail so you can see maybe what that would look like. So under grow out cells, for instance, right? I'm going to insert a bunch of row. So I'll say I want to seed cells from cryo storage. Um, I'm going to let some time for cells grow out. Then I'm going to passage into a T225 flask, right? Cells are going to grow out again. I'm going to passage into three T225 flasks. And then cells are going to grow out. And I'm going to free cells. Free cells into minus 80, right? Then cells freeze in minus 80 for a day. And then put cells in liquid nitrogen. Okay, so that's, that's pretty much all my tasks I need under grow cells out. So I'm going to indent those, right? So I now have that task built up as well. Okay, and now I want to make sure I set my predecessors, right? To make sure things happen in order. 
right? So in other words, before I can order supplies, I do need to take inventory, right? So that row two is in a predecessor between before row three, right? Um, I can clean and start incubators wherever, but I cannot grow out cells until I've cleaned and start the incubators, right? So that's got to be a four. All right, so I see I screwed this up. So I'm going to unindent all the, I'm going to fix it by unindenting all those and I need, that's my problem for using the same language almost. I'm going to indent right there. Okay, and so I'm going to put this, I can't seed cells from cryo storage until I have started and cleaned the incubators and BSCs, right? And I can put all these predecessors in, right? So cells can't grow out until I seeded them. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and fourteen. Nope, I can set up Canvas whenever. So I don't need that 14 there. This has to be 13. Okay, so I had some mistypes, but I think I got that right. And then sub Canvas and make syllabus, or I can kind of do those whenever, so those aren't really a predecessor. But now you can see how it's starting to organize things for me, right? And letting me know when I need to do this, right? So I could break down all these other tasks as well, like the cell culture, mechanical testing period. I can break them down a lot more. Um, but this is just one example for you, okay? So when you're doing it, you're going to want to make sure you break it down as fine as detail as you need to schedule your class. Um, it really will help you to get everything done uh, when it's supposed to be done, if you know that, if you plan, okay? So I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we're going to talk about like setting up our calendar and actually scheduling everything so that you know, right now everything's just one day. So we want to actually get it working so we have it scheduled uh, and it will take the right amount of time.